Everybody and welcome to She Shaves with your host Jill. I'm Jill. Yeah, I know it's been a minute since I did any videos. <clears throat> I'm still not uh, uh, totally recuperated, very sick still. But and then on top of that, add insult to injury. I have uh, my oldest cat, and I was going to do it today, but I wasn't feeling good. Uh, but my oldest cat, Oscar, um, I have to have. Uh, put to sleep and sent over the Rainbow Bridge and I'm not looking forward to it she's uh, she's given me 18 years of wonderful loving and I just cherish that cat but tomorrow I gotta I gotta do what's right for her she's just withered away to nothingness she's still eating but she's like skin and bones so enough of that uh, I'm sorry I, I was going to hope not to try to even talk about that. But anyway, <coughs> um, I'm going to do, I was going to do a straight razor shave, get my face wet here, but uh, instead I'm going to do a shavette, and I'm going to use the CJB shavette. So let me put some PAA cube on. And this is the banana. And let's get that agitated a little. This is not a shaving uh, cut. I was playing with one of my other cats and she nailed me good. So, Oscar's a girl cat, <laughs> and <laughs> you're asking, well, why would you name a girl cat Oscar? Well, um, there was a bunch of latchkey kids uh, when I lived in California uh, near my apartment, and they'd always come over to play with my cats or whatever, and then one day they brought over a, a, a box, and it had a tiny little flea-ridden flea -ridden kitten in it. The cutest thing, but flea-ridden. Oh, and I forgot to tell you what soap I'm using. Oh, I'm just doing everything half-ass, aren't I? The brush I'm going to use is my Razor Rock Bruce, and the soap I'm going to use is Zingari Man, and this is a sample I had of, of her uh, seagull base, which is uh, uh, tallow. Uh, and this is sample number one. I don't know if, uh, for sure if that's um, the oak moss, oak blossom, and fern that she has, uh, but it sure smells like it to me. So either my sniffer's off or I've got it right. Okay, so let's get back to work. Uh, and I've got that in my Captain's Choice bowl down below. Let me add some water to my brush. Oh, so anyway, back to Oscar. So my best buddy, Lonnie, uh, in California, uh, <laughs> when she first saw Oscar, and I hadn't named Oscar yet, and we're t sitting there talking, and I said, what should I name him? What should I name him? And the reason why both of us thought it was a boy cat is because on its backside, not backside, but butt side, it had two little dark dots. It kind of looked like conies. So, <laughs> we thought it was a boy. So... <laughs> 
After I got it all taken care of, I wouldn't even let it in the house until after I had um, treated it for fleas. Because, I mean, it was just full of fleas. So anyway, <laughs> we said my buddy named it Oscar. <laughs> and the little Mexican latchkey kids called, called him Oscarina and Oscarette. <laughs> <laughs> they were so adorable. So the first time I took Oscar in to get the shots and everything that babies need, um, get dewormed usually, which in this case, yes, it did. Uh, and I said, you know what? I said, could you confirm for me whether this is a girl or a boy? And they said, oh no, this is a this is a female. <laughs> so I said, oh hell. What am I going to do now? I already named him Oscar. And my buddy Lonnie said, Eh, just put chains around its neck. And <laughs> it will be a badass <laughs> Oscar. So Oscar's name stayed. Didn't change it. Never had an identity crisis because of it. Okay, the Zingari man seems to be doing well. So let's get some on the face. Oh man, I just lost a big wad of it. Waste not, want not. I like the lather on Zingari Man. And I like this uh, Sago base. In fact, that soap that I mentioned, Oak Moss Orange Blossom and Fern, uh, I didn't write it down. Uh, I ordered the soap and the uh, Poche Balm. I thought I had it written down in here. Oh, well, that's what I get for thinking, right? I'll look it up and put it below. Alright, that's going to be let's add a little bit more water because I am using a Shavette after all. So, I've always said that they reopen things up too quickly and now especially after the protests and stuff the cases have risen even though a lot of the protesters had masks on, they weren't distancing too well. And cases, as expected, are growing again. So I don't care what they say. When I go out, I wear a mask. And that's to protect you. And damn it, I expect you to wear one too to protect my ass. Alright, so out of the box comes the CJB Commissary. Let's get to it. I haven't used this in ages. I'll probably hack my face up.
Still got these cold sores going on. That's because of my poor immune system. Okay, let's rinse that off and lather up again. Let's see where we're at. Pretty good. Need some uh, work, of course, in the trouble areas as usual. So let's load up this seagull base. God, that's driving me nuts that I can't think of the name of that soap that I just ordered today. You know I'm going to pause the tape and go in the other room and look. <laughs> tape? <laughs> this isn't on tape. <laughs> Okay, and no stud get up there. Ooh, was I in frame? Oh, I felt that sneeze coming. Oh. Okay, still has some pickups here. So let's do that third pass. Come on.
Oops. Jay hooking. All right, so don't get carried away. All right, I'm gonna call that done. So much soap up my nose, it's making me want to sneeze. So, I really like this Sago base enough so that I bought the full tub of the soap and the poche balm. All right, cold water rinse. Felt good. Yep, baby butt smooth. Offered great protection. The scent on it is just amazing. I love it. Good protection afterwards. So for my post shave, I'm going to use Soap Commander's Aftershave Balm with Menthol, the Viva, that I just got a few days back. Because I don't have the balm for this one yet. But it's ordered. Good compliment to the soap. Alrighty, so again, I use my CJB Commissory, the Artist Club Blade in it. Um, I use my Razor Rock Bruce Plus Soft Brush. I use Zingari Man, and that's the Seagull scent number one. And uh, for the post shave, I use my uh, Soap Commander Viva, and that was a great shave. <laughs> I used also the banana uh, uh, as my pre-shave. So in any case, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up if you would. Uh, save prayers for me and my little cat that I have to send over the Rainbow Bridge tomorrow. I love you, Oscar, and I love you guys. So, don't forget it. Alright? You know I love you. Bye.